Jennifer, talk to us about your antibody technology, Polytope Therapy, which you believe is the most comprehensive COVID-19 treatment out there. Absolutely. I'd be happy to, and thank you for, for having me on the show. Um, so we started our polytope therapy approach all the way back in January. Um, we did so really believing that we were very well positioned to uh, to launch a program with the scale and rigor that was required to produce the diversity of antibodies that were needed to, to produce what we call an, an antibody cocktail. And uh, cocktail therapies are very widely believed to be the most promising approach to addressing viruses um, like SARS virus, especially um, RNA viruses in particular, um, that are known to go through what's called virus escape through mutations. And so, um, you know, in this process, we launched what we think is actually the most comprehensive um, uh, program. Uh, and without going into the details, uh, what we ended up with is what uh, we, we believe is the most comprehensive and broad panel of potential therapeutic antibodies, at least that we're aware of, that support the full cocktail therapy um, approach for sustainable, um, you know, uh, therapies against SARS-CoV-2. And uh, the aim of doing this is to put together a cocktail of three or more antibodies that work in what we call a synergistic uh, fashion. And so it means that, you know, one plus one plus one isn't necessarily equal to three. They enhance and improve the capability of the cocktail um, and the, the capability of um, protecting and treating uh, COVID. Um, by using them together in this formulation. Right now, this is the only cocktail therapy with three or more antibodies that uh, that we know of that's being uh, moved forward. There's one right now that's in the clinic uh, by Regeneron that is a two monoclonal antibody cocktail. And um, we do feel strongly that it's very important to incorporate three or more antibodies into these cocktails if you do so with a, a focus on safety okay. in particular and also efficacy. Mm -hmm. So if... You're a patient who's been infected, uh, you have COVID-19, you take your antibody cocktail, what happens? Um, so uh, initial applications for patients will probably be um, uh, IV administered, but basically what happens is if you're a patient that already is infected with disease, the hope is that it will prevent the SARS-CoV-2 virus from spreading th further throughout the body by preventing it from infecting any new uh, cells. So talk to us about what this means as we work towards a vaccine. If we have a successful antibody treatment um, yep. now, essentially, you know, then, then the, the, the urgency of, of a vaccine, um, you know, we don't need it right away, correct? I mean, how could this change the game? Well, I mean, we definitely do believe absolutely both are important, um, but there are some ways that it does change in terms of how we respond to a number of different scenarios. You know, one is uh, patients or individuals who might have been exposed to the virus but aren't yet uh, showing any signs or symptoms. Um, so anybody that has a positive test for the virus, we could treat prophylactically with the antibody, meaning that um, we can help prevent the onset of that disease. We can also treat, um, as was just earlier mentioned, um, but not just early stage patients, early stage patients, but later stage patient, patients as well. And so, you know, it does definitely reduce uh, the risk of uh, mortality and morbidity in those patients. Um, but I think also something else that, that should not be overlooked is that you can administer, you know, prophylactically antibodies uh, to uh, people who are high risk individuals. So frontline responders, elderly, immunocompromised individuals, people who would be ideal candidates for being a additionally protected, but also candidates who probably or most likely um, would not respond to a vaccine quite as well for elderly and immunocompromised. So you do have some protection you can put forward to those people that are most at risk before a vaccine would be available. So when will a comprehensive, you know, tested treatment be available to the public? Would it come out before April, uh, which may be the soonest um, we get a vaccine? Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, with regard to, uh, well, let me clarify your question, um, with resp response to um, immunoprecises therapeutic antibody or just any therapeutic coming out forward? Immun immunoprecise is yep, absolutely. your antibody uh, treatment. So that, yeah, absolutely. We do anticipate it would definitely be available um, by April. So right now we're in manufacturing 
um, for the preclinical trials, which are already established. And then uh, the, we are actually doing parallel manufacturing to produce um, what's called a cell bank. That Those are the cells that will actually go into the clinical manufacturing for use in humans. And so um, from our perspective, we are hoping to be aligned and prepared to go into uh, clinical trials uh, this winter.